Bob! Oh, oh Bob. Oh. We're one ugly mother. Hey, wait a minute. T Tony? <laughs> yeah, it's me. What are you doing? I'm, I'm bleeding. Yeah, I know. I joined the Predators last week. <laughs> Sorry. Is that where you've been? I got this pretty cool helmet, though. I don't care about the helmet. I, what you did to Bob? Yeah. You're supposed to run now. I have asthma. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The Predator, the fourth installment in the Predator franchise, and that's not including the AVP films. And it follows a war between two Predator races, <laughs> trying to obtain a technology that has fallen into Earth and is now in the hands of a group of misfits and criminals. And they must figure out how to stop impending doom amongst the Earth with this brand new technology that is among us. Oh. And it's also rated R, like the nun, and like the nun, it's disappointing. Mm. Uh, I I, did, I really didn't, this week I didn't want to be disappointed no, uh, by a movie I was really looking forward to. Uh, this Predator movie, I'm, we're a big fan of the Predator movies ourselves, Alien movies, AVP yeah. movies to an extent. I don't know. I mean, you didn't see the second one. Yeah, I haven't seen the second AVP. I really liked the first AVP though. I like yeah. that one and uh, Predators with Adrian Brody. That's my favorite Predator movie. Right. I feel like that's other than the first one is the one that's gotten it the best so far. And but with this movie, they completely missed. The point of predators. I don't know the decisions that were made in this movie, and, and Shane Black is involved in this. He's the director and the writer of this movie, and I don't understand why he made such choices. Um, I, I think they were just trying too hard to be funny. That's yeah, the humor. This is amazing. Like this is humor to the max. I don't understand why the humor was uh, the focus in this movie. Which is fine, I guess, if you're filming something else. I think you said it too, like, if you're doing something else. Yeah, like, the team. I really enjoyed the team and how they work together and how they kind of, their, their chemistry, but they didn't work for this movie. This movie didn't need that. Like, I came to the Predator movie to see the Predator, not off-brand A-team. Yeah, well, it's just like, yeah, like the Expendables, like some sort of funny Expendables kind of uh, feel to it with the Predator slapped in there. Yeah. You know, it's just... And it doesn't really work. Um, we're going into some spoilers. Um, I don't know how much, how many spoilers. We're I mean, really there's really not a lot to, to spoil with this movie. It's yeah, I mean, a bigger okay. predator. Or predator comes to earth. Bigger predator comes well, down. The pre there's two Humans predators fighting, fighting um, and then apparently there's a wormhole he goes through, and it leads him to Earth. Um, so and then the, uh, his technology gets dropped pretty much on Earth and stuff, and the soldier. Who's played by the uh, that one uh, mutant, uh, the one robot arm guy from Logan? Was that uh, him? Yeah, that was him. And then he's in, he's in there, and I thought he actually was pretty he good. He's good. And um, he's the one who gets the tech, pretty much lands with like the technology. He sends it over to his son. It was just, but it's it like, was why just, would you just, even take it from the scene in the first place? It was just so rushed. Like I said, yeah, they didn't give him any like, reason for him to, to want to take this stuff that he found, he just seemed to like, oh, I just want to take it because. Yeah, it didn't make any sense. And then his son gets it, and, you know, because he has Asperger's, he can access it, apparently, and he could, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, it, throughout the whole movie, everybody can access Predator technology, and that's amazing to me. I was like, Such what the heck? Such a cop-out, I think. And not just access it, know how to work it yeah. also, and know how to operate it. And I was like, okay, that doesn't make any sense. No, like, and honestly, to me, it was quite offensive that they said, like, that Asperger's and, and autism is a, is a form of, you know, like, 
the well, higher I think everybody in this, evolution, but like everybody in this movie had some sort of disability that was used in a weird way. Like yeah, Thomas Jane's in this movie from Punisher fame, <laughs> you know, and he's just uh, what does he have? I'm sorry, he has uh, Tourette's. He has Tourette's, and I was just like, what the heck is going on with this guy? Yeah. Because. Uh, there's um, PTSD. They take all these like mental illnesses, but try to make them seem funny. Yeah, You're like, they wanted it's to use okay, them so, but they wanted to use them in some in some sort of creative way. And I was yeah, like, this isn't working. They also like, don't understand those disabilities. People are not gonna act that way, or that's not how things are gonna be. I, to me, it was quite offensive, but. Maybe but I that's think also they I, were, I think they were also trying to say like that's the next step in the evolutionary <laughs> chain. Like him accessing this stuff was the main reason that the predator wanted him and stuff like that. So that's why they were hunting him mainly yeah. too. They were hunting the kid. Pretty much because he could access this technology and stuff. It became more of he can access this now, so he's the next step in our evolutionary chain. And then there's is the one pred- there's the one predator race that doesn't want this, you know, because that means that they're going to have to change their entire uh, DNA and mm-hmm. way of life and system and everything, you know. So the ones with the actual masks <laughs> on, which is what I like about the predators mm-hmm. and stuff like that are trying to fight this but it's for like two seconds yeah that you see it in the trailer he just he gets slammed into the car and stuff and that right there that scene is the entire yeah. fight yeah and i was I, expecting I was... so much more between those two but like, and he gets there was killed nothing. off right then and there yeah oh i couldn't believe it i just i mean i enjoyed some of the kills that that there were in there like, they were fun there's a few things i was like oh wow that was cool but they didn't sustain my the kills, interest. The kills yeah. were interesting. I could I admit to that. Yeah. I can I can admit the kills were interesting. Uh, every time the uh, bigger predator, you know, the uh, evolved predator, you know, would kill somebody, it was just uh, brutal and massive. Like he would just uh, get a, uh, a what electric wire kind yeah, of thing. And then just close like, line. Like a clothes line a bunch dudes. of people across like the room and stuff and. It was pretty creative, but that's not enough for yeah. me to be like, oh, that's really cool. Because then the rest was it was like, oh, look, look, look. no one was afraid really. There was really no stake. And there was yeah. Olivia Munn was scared for like a second, and then like she was just like all this. She went from being a scientist they found on the street. Yeah, her role is just she weird. She was at a dog park. She was at a dog park, walking in a park, like literally randomly out of nowhere to like we need you, and then like scientist to like uh, action hero. It was weird. It was just oh, it was so awfully. Uh, 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 it was. It was fast paced, and I was just kind of like, "Okay, wait, when are we gonna slow down and actually get some cool story here, cool, or, get some, yeah. or some cool predator moments?" And they never happened. They were too fast, and they're, they're far too... and few between. Like, I couldn't see anything. Like when you saw the big predator, that like, you couldn't even make out the way he was. The CGI was terrible. It was, it was just yeah sloppy. And then they shoot the one predator, those predator dogs that you see in the trailer and stuff. Like they shoot one in the head yeah. and it becomes compliant with them and this stuff. Is basically lobot. I said to you in the theater, I'm like, oh, yeah. well, they just lobotomized the they thing. The and then too. yeah, two minutes later, not even the guy's like, oh, you lobotomized it. I'm like, oh, and can we talk yeah. about how Predator walked like Bigfoot? Can we just address that elephant in the room? Every time he'd walk, it was so funny. <laughs> Like, every wide shot, he's just, like, doing this. And I just couldn't stop laughing at it. Look at this movie. It, 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 went, it went in places that I didn't, I wasn't expecting. That predator, a predator movie shouldn't really go. I'm not expecting it to always be in the jungle or always be in, the, in a city hunting. In Predator 2, with Danny Glover, I mean, even that movie, I was like, oh, my God. They're saying fuck every two seconds. And in a way where it's just like, fuck, we gotta get out of here, shit, oh, god damn, yeah. like, and shit blowing up, fuck, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, and and I was like, okay, and here, they're doing that, like, even more, I think, than they did in Predator 2, and I was like, oh, man, that's, this is insane. Yeah, yeah. I'm giving this movie a two. I liked some of the, like, the Predator stuff that was in there, that was, like, that classic Predator stuff, but there just wasn't enough of it to keep me interested Especially when the story was as abominable as it was. And that's about it. You know, some of the kills were cool. I might go back and I might watch it one more time just to see some of those cool kills again. Because some of the, some of these went by too fast. I kind of want to see it again. But I'm probably going to fast forward through a lot of it. Um, or just not, YouTube the clips, honestly. <laughs> I'm not even going to do that because this is that bad. It's just... You have these cool moments in this movie that are just wasted and stuff they could be used in another movie like these little predator moments and yeah there's just very youtube youtube clips that i wouldn't even really want to watch again because it just pisses me off because knowing the entire story here so 1.5 out of 5 for me because it's very disappointing 
I I really like the Predator movies. They have they have a lot of potential. Kind of like the Terminator movies too. They they go in a certain direction. One and two were good, and then the rest were bad. You know, and just it's very disappointing how they don't know what to do with these properties and stuff. So hopefully they make up another Predator movie in the future and it fixes some stuff. But I don't know. This one's just very bad. Oh well, they set up for another like, Predator movie. Oh my God, the ending was so bad. <laughs> it was so weird. Oh my so God, weird. I'm sitting there going, please don't be something stupid. Please don't. It was a, it was something stupid. It was something very stupid. It's just uh, Iron Man Predator suit, <laughs> nanotech Predator suit. It was stupid. <laughs> So yeah. yeah, that's our review on The Predator. Uh, what did you think of it if you watched it? Uh, comment down below and also follow us on our social media platforms. We're on Twitter, Facebook, and of course on YouTube. And please keep watching movies. Worst movie Dumb. ever. Oh boy, what a waste of time. Oh, uh. <laughs>